Hey guys, before I get into the Father's Day items, I wanted to let you guys know kind of what Kate got when she won my Lush giveaway. I didn't want to say it right off the bat because I wanted her to get it and I wanted it to be a surprise, so now I can tell you. So for the giveaway, I included Happy Days, which is a wrapped gift. It comes with Bright Side Bubble Bar, the Comforter Bubble Bar, Biz Banger Bath Bomb, and Yoga Bomb. And in the giveaway, I asked you to put in the comments of what Lush product you really, really like or what you wanted to try. So in Kate's comment, she said that she would like to try 93,000 miles, Granny Takes a Dip, and Outback Mate. Unfortunately, Outback Mate was out of stock at the time, so all I could get her was 93,000 miles and Granny Takes a Dip. She did get a lovely package at her door, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks again, everyone who entered, and hopefully I'll do another one of those soon. On to the Father's Day items. I got them all except for the soap. So for the Father's Day items, I randomly invited some guy into my house so he could demonstrate them for you guys. Just kidding my husband. First up is the Super Dad Bath Bomb. It has a smoky sweet sandalwood scent. For how small and thin it is, I expected it to fizz out quickly, but at 19 minutes of filming, I got bored and decided to help it fizz out. This would definitely be one to enjoy and relax since it takes so long. It turns the water a vibrant blue. The scent doesn't last long unless you are huffing and inhaling your partner's skin. Do you feel like Kurt Russell after experiencing this bath bomb? Sort of. I feel like I'm in water world. That's not Kurt Russell. Next is the Mod Father Bubble Bar. Brazilian orange and bright colors. It's a very refreshing bubble bar. Lush says it's for the snappiest of dressers and the most discerning of bathers. Obviously, you guys get the whole 1960s London underground Godfather reference, right? It's cute. Surprisingly, unlike most bubble bars, my skin felt very silky afterwards, and it makes the water a very pretty blue. The Mod Father is based off of 1960s Britain, like the UK, you know? Does this make you want to buy a Vespa? Yes, and then I'd ride it down the Venice walkway. That's Italy. With my baguette. Oh my god, that's France. This is Smuggler's Soul Shampoo Bar. Smuggler's Soul is a new scent that Lush has decided to bring out, and it's very woodsy. It has rather manly characteristics and I really like that a lot. It's a woodsy citrus, but come on, you know you guys want to buy this based off of how pretty it is. As with all shampoo bars, you only need to make a couple of passes and you're all sudsed up. This one is a little different in that the watercress infusion and cucumber will cool and refresh your scalp while there is cocoa butter to keep your hair nourished. So it's like shampooing and conditioning all in one. I still use conditioner after, but that's just my preference. Unless Lush killed a bunch of smugglers and did some magic to put their souls into this stuff, maybe that's what this means. Do you enjoy smuggling souls? I'm using the hair bar. As a smuggler, how is your soul feeling after using this? Refreshed. This is Smuggler's Soul Facial Scrub. It's limited edition. So I'm not sure if the Smuggler's Soul altogether is limited edition, but I know for a fact it says limited edition on this scrub, which is really depressing because I really like this stuff a lot. So Smuggler's Soul, like I said, is a smoky sandalwood scent. This is packed full of teeny tiny bamboo granules for gentle exfoliation. So I paid $55 for a Mary Kay Microderm Abrasion Kit that is 2.5 ounces, and this did the same exact thing as the Mary Kay. And this is 3.1 ounces. I did some calculations for 3.1 ounces. That's $450 cost per unit. But the Mary Kay is $22 cost per unit. That's a 380 88% difference. Can you see where I'm going with this? But anyway, my husband said it's like a thousand grit sandpaper. I agree, but I really like it. It depends on how hard you're pressing down on your face. If you don't really like the gritty feel or your skin's really sensitive, you can still use it on your body and your feet and it will be amazing. So the next two items are not from the Father's Day line, but they're still for men and that's still a good thing for Father's Day coming up. Clearly. Next is Dirty Body Spray. This provides the deodorizing action needed by today's modern man too often rush off of his feet. I like how they say it's mostly tarragon and lavender with a subtle hint of spearmint. Uh, no. It's straight spearmint. It lasts 
all day one spritz. I also work with my husband all day and I can walk by him and be like, oh, he put on dirty today. And then like six hours later, he'll walk by and I'll know it's him just based off of dirty. It's a very clean scent, so it would work well on women too. Just use like half a spritz, seriously, one full spritz and people will think you marinated in a spearmint cocktail. Did you know that spearmint is a diuretic and has been used to treat cases of suppressed or painful urination? I'll keep that in mind next time. The last item I just want to mention, I don't have it anymore, but it is the Kalamazoo Beard and Facial Scrub. Keep things bright and bushy with this creamy wash for fuzzy faces pineapple juice and Brazilian orange oil. It's very citrusy. This stuff is kind of weird though. It goes on like lotion, but when you wash it up, it suddenly foams up like you have rabies. And the husband says it takes a while to wash it fully off. But obviously he clearly likes it because I didn't even get a chance to film it. He doesn't have any facial hair anymore, but when he did, it made his beard feel really soft and it smells great. Guys, definitely check it out. That's all I have for today. Coming up, I think I have a couple hair products I want to show you. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next week.